Hey everybody, Steve Redder here. Gonna try something a little different here. Gonna take a little uh, video on my way to the mall. And right there you can see the uh, downtown Abu Dhabi. That's the uh, Etihad Towers. It's filmed uh, Fast and the Furious. Uh, one of the movies. One of the nine. I'm not sure which one because I didn't see any after the first one, but it's filmed there. Gonna be a hopefully uh, not too much of a taste of how some of the craziness and the driving around here uh, first thing you're gonna notice is see the stop sign there will uh, call it, it's stoptional so uh, just kind of just blast on through it that's what everybody does here and I'm gonna head down so I'm on the um, so Abu Dhabi is like a giant um, it's kind of a peninsula. It's surrounded by, or it's around, there's water all around. It's a seacoast town. There's a lot of islands and uh, waterways around it and all. And, and uh, the originally in the history, there was uh, a lot of pearl diving here. That's where uh, initially the, uh, the fortune came from. And of course, then they found oil back in the, uh, back in the 40s and 50s. They really started uh, developing the oil fields. But this is, uh, I'm on the western side of kind of the uh, the peninsula of Abu Dhabi, on the western side of the, the town. Um, I'm going to kind of head, heading, uh, I guess this is uh, east right now, thinking, because the sunset's right behind me. Let's see, real nice sunsets here. I don't know if you can see out the back window there, but there's me. So I'm, I'm trying to be, whoop. Trying to be real careful, not paying attention to the green light. Yeah, here we go. So there's a little taste of it there. A little crazy driving here. People in a hurry. Speed limit's 80 kilometers an hour. And there's traffic cameras everywhere around here. There's one right there. See the little uh, silver thing with the black bands there that's a traffic camera they're all over the place so you're not getting away with it uh, but what they'll do is it's pretty much all the locals know exactly where the cameras are so they'll speed like crazy all the way up to it and then uh, and then slam on brakes so let me get through this intersection here for so here I go now I, whenever I come home of course, I, uh, the ravishing Mrs. Ritter is very disturbed at my driving because I'm pretty aggressive here because you kind of have to be or you're going to get run all over. So Now, the, that's the nice thing about here with all the... There's a lot of sand in the air a lot of times with the wind blows and all, and it really makes for pretty sunsets. So what you're seeing there is the... Uh, there's the uh, Emirates... Uh, the Etihad Towers there. Uh, and ahead, you got the Emirate Palace hotel and here's a nice hotel there that a lot of gate motifs here a lot of uh, buildings and shaped like gates it's kind of the thing this is heading down Zayed the first uh, street a lot of things here named Zayed so the the first president of the country uh, this is, of course, the 50th year of the, the, the country, the United Arab Emirates, has is, is, uh, been in existence. First president was, uh, was uh, Sheikh Zayed. So a lot of things around here, and he was from Abu Dhabi, so uh, a, lot of, a lot of things here. Of course, they're real proud of him. A lot of things here named after him. It's kind of hard to tell, you know. Zayed Street, where's that? There's, there's a bunch of them, so Zayed, but... So I use GPS a lot here. <laughs> so heading down, real nice. Lots of lots of trees everywhere. Notice the lots of palm trees, the date palms. The dates are starting to come in all over the place now. This is taking us right into the heart of downtown Abu Dhabi. And you can see it's pretty built up, and it's pretty amazing when you look back at pictures. And you can go on Google and images and see pictures from Abu Dhabi back in the 60s and it was still just it was pretty pretty much a fishing village almost um, 
they really started developing. Of course, the oil money started flowing in, and then um, once they came together as a country, uh, all the different emirates, it really exploded. So there's a Adnock. See, you'll see that around on the corner of that building there, Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. That's the uh, gas. All the gas stations here are Adnock, um, but they. That's uh, a lot of their money comes from. But uh, right now it's uh, 36C, which is like probably a little bit over 100 degrees. Right now at uh, almost 7 o'clock at night, maybe it just dipped below 100 degrees. I'm, I'm still getting the hang of Celsius. Still have to do the converter. But uh, lots of uh, nice cars here. You can see some BMWs and Range Rovers and all kind of stuff. So it's real nice around here. See the guy on the uh, motorcycle with the orange box there. Oh, he turned. A lot of food deliveries here. You see them riding around everywhere. Brave souls driving around in a on a motorcycle in this town. If you ask me, I uh, don't know that I would do that, but you know. And of course, you can't go anywhere without seeing a Starbucks. They are everywhere. So there's one with the drive-through. How about that? Ravishing Mrs. Ritter does love her her uh, caramel macchiatos. It's her drink of choice. So, real nice. <clears throat> you can tell down here, uh, of course, Abu Dhabi's developing outwards, and you can tell some of the older buildings um, are more concrete looking. Some of the newer ones, like that one there, that kind of has that gold tinge. That's pretty nice. There's all kind of little parks here. There's a nice little park over there. Uh, some trees around. And it's a beautiful city. And that's one of the things Zayed, I, I, I read a little bit about him, and he was very much a visionary type guy. And he really wanted, he, he insisted on planting trees and all over the place. So. It used to, it, it's not so much the more, five years ago when I was here, it was it was a pretty clear distinction when you, when we drive up from Abu Dhabi to Dubai and you could literally tell where the Abu Dhabi Emirate ended and Dubai started because the trees stopped. And uh, I think Dubai got a little tired of that and planted some more trees now. It's not as clear a distinction, but, but there's a definite... Um, um, and now that's interesting because that's that that tall palm tree. There's actually not a tree; it's a cell phone tower. It's kind of cool, but it makes they make it look like a palm tree, which is kind of cool. There's a nice park over there going by, and you can pause it if you'd like. Nice little park. Sorry, I'm going to make some of you probably car sick. I'll try to keep the camera steady. Won't do the sideways looking out the window. So here's a there's a delivery guy. See him there with the box on the back. That's a little, like I said, brave souls. These guys had their heads on a swivel, always looking out for people. About to run into them. I'll move over here, get out of this bus's way. Yeah, there he is. See, no telling what's in there. So lots of food delivery. Those guys are everywhere all the time going. You see them pull up at the hotel a lot. So uh, this road, if I'm not mistaken, is where I stayed before. The Holiday Inn down here downtown. It's a pretty nice place. Trying to stay there again because it's got a little kitchenette. I haven't been able to cook anything in a while. So I'm itching to get back and get the crock pot fired up again so yeah, it's kind of cool because uh, there's a lot of the the buildings that people live in and down below you can see shops there you can kind of see the shops below the buildings a lot of these little mom and pop uh, type places down below sell a little bit of everything uh, lots of 
entrepreneurship around here. This is where the area where a lot of um, there's a lot of service workers work and live down here as well. They have a big camp outside of town that they a little town a little it's like a little community they live in. This is a nice little park over here. Some sort of government building or museum, I think. So a lot of these buildings, they would have the little fishing huts all around. And the, I mean, I'm talking about the old days. And I think, uh, no, that's that's new. But there are some old forts around, um, and that was kind of the setup. It's kind of like a like a medieval town with the castles, and you'd have. Uh, the castle and of course all the, the villagers would live around it for protection and they had the same kind of thing uh, in, in this part of the world it's kind of a, a big high walled fort so you ever seen uh, Bo Jest or any of those old movies about the French Foreign Legion out in the desert out there and some of those old forts like that that was that was kind of the, the setup so um, traffic's not too bad believe it or not this time of year it's uh, or this time of day it's not bad this is a Friday evening so this is uh, their weekend is Friday and Saturday so Friday's kind of their church day that's the day they go to mosque and that's kind of their uh, their day there so but um, yeah definitely I, I, when I got the rental car I definitely wanted to opt for uh, something a little bigger instead of like that black one there on the right little tiny thing I, I wanted a little bit more steel around me because you get these big land cruisers and Nissan patrols and these big cars like that and they're flying around and I just I wanted a little bit more steel around me you know so yeah I live down right down here somewhere okay I see it yeah so I'm gonna go right past uh, my old hotel where I did a lot of those crockpot videos See this guy, see how close he is. So a lot of people tailgate. Yeah, if you if you're in the left lane, it's not a lot of patience. It's kind of funny when you drive around, there, there's the uh, the big signs um, over the highway, the automated signs, and the, a lot of those messages you see on the way to work. It's like, hey, please be patient when you drive. You know, arrive, uh, drive and safe and arrive alive and, and things like that because yeah it, if you're in the left lane and you're hanging out and you're not doing a, at least five miles an hour over the speed limit you're going to have somebody run right up on your tail and flash and try to move you out of the way so um, you just got to watch yourself again I've just kind of learned to be pretty aggressive driving so maybe uh, one day I'll show you how Sometimes we'll pass on the on and off ramps. That's pretty crazy, but everybody does it. So it's kind of like you're safer. It seems odd, but but it's almost like you're safer doing driving like that because everybody drives like that. And if you don't, then then you're the one guy that's not. It's like the the person driving 45 miles an hour down the interstate. You know, you're you're it's it's more unsafe driving that slow because everybody's blasting around you and running up on you and everything else so but uh yeah when it gets evening yeah people get out a little bit more of course now that's the thing about here living right on the coast like this is um ironically enough pretty much the worst time of day is right after sunset because the humidity just comes up like crazy during the day when the sun's out it kind of cooks that humidity off and it's not not too unbearable especially if you're sitting in the shade and you got a little bit of breeze it's it's really not that bad at all but uh, kind of like the people in Phoenix probably feel you know in the summertime it's a dry heat it's dry because it's so hot it just cooks the water out of the air but uh, yeah it's not really a turn lane here but people turn that's that's like the two lane turn lanes see this guy's gonna try to move over that's where being aggressive pays off. You just kind of pinch him off so he can't come over. This is like a driving lesson. This is like a driver's ed class or something, you know? 
taxi drivers aren't too bad. I think they uh, they have GPS trackers on there that track their speed, so that they're they're actually not as bad as you'd think they would be. Um, of course, this guy just slammed on brakes right in front of me. Um, they're actually not that bad, so um, they 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 usually keep right at the speed limit, so they're not real aggressive. Um, yeah. pretty nice nice time of the day I went past my old hotel and uh, yeah it's about uh, 705 now on a Friday night so people are getting out a little bit and going out to dinner I'm heading to the mall myself I'm gonna get me something to eat I'm thinking I'm gonna go with some famous Dave's tonight they've got a famous Dave's barbecue place there so and as you'd expect there's no pork barbecue there but it's all beef and chicken and everything else so that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna get I might change my mind I'm kind of a kind of a just go with my gut and kind of go out to eat guy you know I, I usually don't have a big plan to go eat now what I will do though is I do plan to get some ice cream tonight so that's kind of my that's my kryptonite ice cream ravishing Mrs. Ritter always kind of teasing me about that because man I can eat ice cream I love ice cream they've got a cold stone there in the mall that I'm going to I'm gonna start moving over here so it's gonna be up ahead here I'm heading over to the east side of Abu Dhabi now, the peninsula, and um, I'm going to be making a right turn here shortly somewhere. I'm trying to, so here's the big question is, do I pass the bus? Uh, just answer my own question. There we go. So, lots of bus traffic downtown. You don't see much out outside the city, um, but downtown the buses go around a lot, so... This is where I'm going to be turning here shortly. Yeah, so these Toyota trucks do a lot of construction trucks. You see those around everywhere, and they it's a little sporty working around them too sometimes. This guy's in a hurry. Now, those tall buildings, they're over on uh, Ream Island, which is a, again, there's a waterway just on the other side this road over here um, behind the mall I'm going to it's a waterway and uh, nice hotels and restaurant of course Abu Dhabi malls there and um, Ream Islands over on the uh, other side and that's um, some nice hotels lots of nicer apartments over there and uh, just about there so you got the So this is this is Abu Dhabi Mall over here. You can tell so nice hotels and everything else right next to it. So and uh, you know, like a lot of nice cars. Now I, I, uh, I over on Ream Island, I, I had a, a buddy from work that uh, has an apartment over there, and I went over and watched this place some. But I I drive over there. This. Some nice cars. I passed a McLaren uh, one day. Guy just out for his drive in his McLaren, which is you know hundred and fifty thousand dollar car or whatever it is. So there's some. Uh, you'll see Bentleys, and I saw a Bentley um, SUV. It looked like a kind of a hybrid station wagon SUV Bentley, which you know I can only imagine cost an obscene amount of money, and. Uh, Not as bad as India. India, man, that the horn is like a is like a just a continuous honking and beeping and and everything else. So this that right there is the entrance. That's where I'm going in. You see, they got a Timmy Hortons there. So any you folks from uh, Canada know uh, old Timmy Ho's there. Some good donuts and coffee from there. And 
got nice shops there in the mall and I'm just going to kind of check it out and um, anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed the drive um, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do some more of these we'll let me know what you think in the comments below we'll uh, we'll see you next time